Hi, my name is Nick Barillo, Director of the Center for Hydrogen Safety for AICHE. And I'm going to be interviewing today Dr. Sachipal from the U.S. Department of Energy's Fuel Cell Technology Office in the Office of Energy and Efficiency in Renewable Energy. Sunita was the Tuesday luncheon speaker at the 2019 AICHE Spring Meeting and 15th Global Conference on, Pro on Process Safety where she gave a presentation, Innovation and Emerging Technologies Perspectives in Hydrogen Fuel Cells. Welcome, Sunita. It's nice to have you with us today. Thank you. Um, to get things started, can you briefly uh, recap the current uh, state of hydrogen and fuel cell technologies and the role you see them playing in the energy landscape over the next five to 10 years? Sure, so thank you, Nick. And um, first of all, we have an all of the above energy portfolio at DOE. So we're looking at renewables, fossil fuels, nuclear, including energy efficiency. And so I manage the hydrogen space. So hydrogen is one part of that all of the above portfolio, but we've seen tremendous progress. We have thousands of commercial fuel cell vehicles now. In fact, in March, 6,500 commercial fuel cell cars on the roads. Um, we have over 25,000 forklifts. We have buses. Um, we have a lot of examples of hydrogen and fuel cell technologies in the market today. So there's been a tremendous cost reduction. I think that's really the main takeaway. And in fact, about 16 million hydrogen fuelings um, in warehouses from major companies just in the last couple of years. Awesome. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> so uh, to get things started, can you, oh, I'm sorry, excuse me. Um, you talked about some, some of the things happening with the fuel cells and the advance of hydrogen as an energy carrier. How important a role do you see the Center for Hydrogen Safety playing in the birth of hydrogen? Um, well, first of all, congratulations in, you. on the launch of the Center for Hydrogen Safety to all of the partners, to AICAG, and we think this is really critical. As we see deployments accelerating, the importance of safe, safety, hydrogen is a fuel just as any other fuel. It needs to be safely and the hydrogen safety panel has played a really critical role combined um, it has over 400 years collectively of experience in-depth experience related to hydrogen has done hundreds of safety reviews and so bringing that type of resource to bear as part of this global center for hydrogen safety is really is invaluable so sharing information, lessons learned, best practices, and the key here is without attribution, I think is going to be uh, invaluable again. Um, so again, congratulations on the Center for Hydrogen Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Thanks. Um, uh, Sunita, I would like to thank you very much for sharing your perspectives. I think it's valuable for our audience. Um, as a takeaway, what key point would you like the audience to keep? Basically, we're seeing a very exciting time in all of energy. Just the last decade, you see the incredible progress with renewables, um, as well as fossil fuels. We're now the world's largest producer of natural gas, exporting to over 34 countries, as well as oil. Um, hydrogen is, again, an important piece of that all of the above portfolio. And a key initiative is what we call H2 at scale, which looks at large-scale production of hydrogen, delivery, storage, use across sectors. So again, it's an energy carrier, and it can offer opportunities um, valuable, for instance, this conference, because we cover um, industrial sectors and various um, sectors, including energy storage, um, working with utilities. And so I think the key takeaway is we still need to reduce cost and um, keep up the momentum look forward to working with all of our stakeholders. Very good. Thank you. Well, thank you again for joining us, and uh, we appreciate you taking your time out of your schedule. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks.